Welcome, and thank you for watching this tutorial on how to apply to Ohus University's master's program in English. In this video, we will cover admissions requirements, including how and where to find your admission requirements, what type of documentation you must upload, the online application form and what to be aware of, how your application is processed, and finally, we will briefly cover how you apply for a scholarship or a tuition fee waiver. If you prepare to apply, you will need to first check the admission requirements for the program or programs that you wish to apply to. Second, gather all the required documentation and prepare it for upload. And finally, you will need to complete and submit the online application form. You can find the admission requirements for your degree program of choice at masters.au.dk. We will show you examples of this in a few slides. Also at masters.au.dk slash admission, under application procedure, you will be able to find a documentation checklist. Later, we will cover how this checklist depends on which program you are applying to. The application is done entirely online. You do not need to mail or email any documents. The link to the online application form is also available at masters.au.dk slash admission under application procedure. This will also be covered in more detail later on in the presentation. Overall, there are three types of admission requirements that you should be aware of. First of all, you must meet the general admission requirements. In order to be admitted to a master's program at Aarhus University, you must have completed a bachelor's degree. Your bachelor's degree must be relevant to the master's program that you are applying to, and it must be recognized as equivalent to a Danish bachelor's degree. Secondly, you must meet the specific program's admissions requirements. Typically, you must be able to document that you have passed 60 to 90 ECTS within specific subject areas during your bachelor's degree. And thirdly, you must be able to document your English language proficiency or that you live up to one of the exemptions. We will now cover both the specific requirements and the English language requirement in some more detail. We will start with the English language requirement and then return to the specific admission requirement. Most students will need to submit either a TOEFL, IELTS, or Cambridge test. The required TOEFL score is 83 and the required IELTS score is 6.5. Depending on which Cambridge test you have passed, different grades are required. You can find detailed information at masters.au.dk slash admission. There are few exemptions and some students may not need to submit a language test. The most frequently used exemption is for students who have studied in an English speaking country. Please note, however, that not all English speaking countries are included in the list. Many of you may be familiar with the European Credit Transfer System, or ECTS. But for those of you who do not know the credits used in Europe, we'll do a quick introduction before we go into some examples of the specific admission requirements. ECTS is an abbreviation for European Credit Transfer System, and the system is used widely in Europe. A bachelor's degree in Denmark is three years in duration, and you must obtain 180 ECTS in order to graduate. A master's degree is two years in duration, and you must pass 120 ECTS to graduate. So, to graduate on time, you must pass 60 ECTS per year. You can see a few examples of how you can convert from local credits to ECTS. If your bachelor's degree is four years in duration, and you must pass 120 credits in order to graduate, then 30 local credits equals 60 ECTS. If your bachelor's degree is three years in duration 
and you must pass 240 credits in order to graduate, then 80 local credits would equal 60 ECTS. You do not need to calculate the conversion yourself. This will be done by the admissions office, but as you consider whether or not you meet the admissions requirements, this information can be helpful. Now, returning to the specific admission requirements, we have chosen four degree programs from four different faculties to show you as examples. First, the MA in Human Security offered by the Faculty of Arts. Second, the MSc in Economics and Business Administration offered by Aarhus BSS. Thirdly, the MSc in Computer Science offered by the Faculty of Natural Sciences. And finally, the MSc in Mechanical Engineering offered by the Faculty of Technical Sciences. If you wish to apply for admission to the master's program in human security, you must have a bachelor's degree in social science, environmental studies, biology, or some other related field. You must also be able to document that during your bachelor's degree, you have covered the equivalent of 90 ECTS within the subject areas of social science or environment-related studies or conflict-related studies. If you wish to apply for admission to one or more of the 15 specializations of a master's in economics and business administration, you must have a bachelor's degree in economics, business, management, or a related field. You must also be able to document that during your bachelor's degree, you have covered the equivalent of 80 ECTS within specific subject areas, including, for instance, a total of 15 ECTS within methods, where at least 10 ECTS covers quantitative methods or statistics. If you wish to apply for admission to the master's program in computer science, you must have a bachelor's degree in IT, computer science, or a related field. You must also be able to document that during your bachelor's degree, you have covered the equivalent of 90 ECTS within the specific subject areas, including, for instance, 20 ECTS programming and 20 ECTS computer systems. And finally, if you wish to apply for admission to the master's program in mechanical engineering, you must have a bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering or a related field. You must also be able to document that during your bachelor's degree, you have covered the equivalent of 60 ECTS within the field of mechanical engineering and that you have passed 20 ECTS mathematics covering calculus and various types of equations. Now that you know your admission requirements, you are ready to start gathering the documentation that you need to submit. All students must submit a bachelor's diploma or certificate or transcript of record, course descriptions, a copy of the local grading scale, documentation of English language qualifications, and documentation of citizenship. In addition to the documentation required of all applicants, there is also some documentation that is only required of some applicants. Only non-EU students will need to pay the application fee and upload a copy of their receipt. If you have previously been admitted to a master's degree program, you should upload documentation in the form of a transcript of record. If you have a current residence permit in Denmark, you must also upload this. A few programs, such as the Master's in Human Security, request additional documentation, such as a CV and a Statement of Relevance. Finally, if you have any transferred credits, for instance, if you did an exchange during your bachelor's degree, then make sure to upload the transcript, the relevant grading scale from the host university, and course description. Please note that most programs do not request such documentation and that you should only upload required documentation. Any documentation that you upload which is not specifically required 
would not be considered. The most important document that you must upload is your bachelor's diploma or certificate. It is very important that this document contains all the courses you have passed during your bachelor's degree and that corresponding grades and credits are indicated clearly. If you have not yet graduated and don't have your final diploma or certificate, you can upload a transcript of records. Just like the diploma or certificate, your transcript of records must contain all the courses you have passed during your bachelor's degree up until now and the corresponding grades and credits. Please be aware that the transcript should also include courses you are registered in and expect to pass. To accompany your diploma or transcript of records, you must upload a copy of the local grading scale issued by the institution where you earned your bachelor's degree. As an example, you can see a description of the Danish grading scale used at all universities in Denmark. In Denmark, 12 is the highest grade you can receive and O2 is the lowest passing grade. It is important that the document you upload clearly states the highest and lowest passing grades. With your application, you will also need to upload descriptions of the courses you have passed and also descriptions of courses you have not yet completed. These course descriptions are very important as they are used to assess whether or not you meet the specific admission requirements. Say you want to apply for admission to a master's in economics and business administration. You will need to document that you have passed five ECTS in microeconomics but you may not have taken a course called microeconomics. Instead, this subject area was covered in a course of a different title. Or say you want to apply to a master's in mechanical engineering, where you have to document that you have covered both calculus and all the various types of equations. Keep in mind as you gather your documentation that course descriptions will be used to decide whether or not you meet the admission requirements. There are three basic rules that you should keep in the back of your mind as you gather the required documentation. Rule number one, only official documents are accepted. These would typically be both signed and stamped. Rule number two, only documents in English are accepted. Documents in any other language except Danish will need to be translated by the issuing university. And rule number three, all documents must be uploaded to your application. We cannot receive documents via email or regular mail. As with any set of rules, there are exceptions. The one exception here is that you are allowed to translate the course descriptions yourself if you provide the original source that you have translated from. Once you know your admission requirements and you have gathered all the required documentation, you are ready to start the online application. If you are a non-EU or EEA or non-Swiss student, your first step should be to pay the application fee. The fee is 100 euros and must be paid through our web shop. Step number two is to create a user profile for the application portal. Go to masters.au.dk slash admission and click on Apply for Admission. Once you have created a user profile, you can complete and submit the application form. Note that you can apply for up to three different master's programs. If you apply for more than one program, make sure to carefully consider how you prioritize the programs in the application. Even if you meet the admission requirements, for all the programs you apply to, you will only receive one offer of admission. Once you have submitted your application, it will make its way through our system. First, staff will verify your documents and make sure that you have uploaded all the required documentation. Next, staff will read through your course descriptions and other relevant documentation to confirm whether or not you meet the admission requirements. Finally, the admissions office will issue either an offer letter or rejection letter 
and you will receive a reply to your application. If you receive an offer letter, you must now accept or reject your offer of admission. In this overview, you can see the most important dates and deadlines coming up. Depending on where you are from, you will need to apply by either January 15th or March 1st. We recommend that you submit your application as soon as you are ready and that you do not wait until the deadline unless you have to. As you can see, in two instances, it's possible to send documentation after the deadline. First, if you do not have your English language test result by the application deadline, you can upload a copy of your registration and then submit your results at a later date. And second, if you have not graduated by the application deadline, you can upload a transcript of record and then submit your diploma or certificate at a later date. Again, depending on where you are from, the deadlines are between May 1st and late September. Aarhus University offers a number of Danish state scholarships to students from outside the EU or EEA countries. If you are applying to a degree program at the Faculty of Technical or Natural Sciences, the Danish State Scholarship will cover your tuition for the entire two-year degree program. If you are applying to a degree program offered by either the Faculty of Arts or Aarhus VSS, the Danish State Scholarship will cover your tuition and, in addition, you will receive a monthly grant to cover living expenses. The application process is very simple in the sense that you apply automatically when you apply for admission. You do not need to upload any additional documentation. Recipients are chosen by the university to assess all applicants according to the following criteria. Priority will be given to applicants with excellent academic qualifications. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you have any further questions or concerns, please do not hesitate to contact the admissions office. We look forward to receiving your applications and to welcoming you to Aarhus University.